Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take it. <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I went to Fish Fingers. Fish Fingers. <laughs> there were no Fish Fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. You too? OK, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then we sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly, with green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. Let's try a bit. Wow. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like olives? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is okay. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck! Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's <laughs> only a toy spider. Then the waiter came back. What what we <gasps> With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. I really like it. I like new food. You can like that. So does Willie. Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willie. Baby Ben. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Willie. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Can you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with? Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. Wet wipes. Wipes. Ooh. Clothes. 
boats. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah! Found it! Just a squeaky thing. <gasps> Look! I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. He's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my house? Well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, would you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before Baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said I'd play with my car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> said Mummy. You wake Baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Willy. I could be a baby too, just like Baby Ben. Tig. I wish Baby Ben would go away. Hello. Suddenly, Baby Ben woke up again. Oh, dear. Come on. Come on. Tig! Tig, could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy, I said to Willy. Hey, Tig! Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with Baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies. We'll need one of those. Baby wipes. We need them to make Baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey, Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go, Tig. Helping Mum's fun. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mum, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for Baby oh, Ben. Clever girl. And because you've been so good, you can help me change Baby Ben's nappy. Uh, yeah. Can I help Mummy change Baby Ben? Mummy, here, Mummy, put the baby right Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's Baby Ben's trousers. Oh, that is so helpful. Thank you. We made him all nice and clean again. It's only my toy spider to be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willie. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Wow. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. 
A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. Okay, just bones. Just bones didn't sound that. very exciting. But I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my Grandad. Let's get up these big steps. The dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur. Hey, Grandad. Wow! Oh no! There was a dinosaur! There was a Diplodocus! It was real! It was big! It was bigger than me! It was too big! I was scared! What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig. Big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur it's just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad's. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar! It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. Two things. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willy came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy likes my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. <laughs> Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go and get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at the shoe shop. They had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. 
Lee said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried in the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one or do I have that one? Or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Hmm. Hey, Tig. It's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you're choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose, but you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement crack in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willy came too. Hello there. We had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Oh, it's okay. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo-woo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Hello there, tickets please. Tickets please, said the man. <laughs> Through the country. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Under the bridge. Chuff, chuff, chuff. I love the train. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <gasps> Up the hill we chucked. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. So no, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. 
So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops. Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig. When you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You were happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? He's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Willie? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willie to watch. Daddy put me into a big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, take Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? Can we have a shower? We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, don't... Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Tig, a swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth. Spit it out. Well done Tig, you found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Whee! Bounce 
the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willy came too. I love my granny. Come on, come on, let's go. What will we have? We'll have some tea, will we? Granny and Daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is Daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about Daddy? I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny. Be careful. Granny will take it. Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When girl. Daddy left, I had my Granny to myself. See you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. As a mud pie, the mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. It's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things round her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said... That was Great Grandad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny. Mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling. No, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig. Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I 
love my granny. I'm going to do things so granny can say yes. Love you, granny. I love Aww. you, granny. Oh, take that, Lynn. I love you, too. Can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my it's goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my Aunt Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I liked Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. We asked the horse. Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time for your riding lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie Shona sniffed and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey, Tig. Nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, He's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. 
And I love Willy. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, okay? I ate the well, last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way. So you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. One, two, I wore my favourite <laughs> wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scar. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. 
The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree and a pond with fishes. Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. She is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelt like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Is Willie in the jungle? Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> when we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Oh. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get this scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Teg, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Tig, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Tig, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There you see. Now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got my hat and scarf in the jungle house. Really? I told Mummy and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. My scar by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. Smelt of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. uh, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <laughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willy came too. The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Board. Ironing. Ironing boards, toasters, televisions, washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Two. Yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. 
I didn't want to be in a troll, you see. Yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold on to the trolley. Can you manage? I help Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tick. I found down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tick! And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got a little spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie! The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. Got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan, sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it 
got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, My name. sailor hat was gone. Oh. It floated away. You know, it wasn't my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy bag I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. Right, Tig, here we are. Panda. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig, this is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We uh, had to wait for a special we'll bus up. to see the animals. Look at all the toy we waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what, can you name it? There are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Then I saw some pandas. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? We're going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Tammy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. We went over a wooden bridge. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But, hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. 
The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. We. The lions. The tigers. We. And the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig. If you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I oh. haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that saw tea. Then the panda went to sleep. Always go back to sleep. Night night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, wasn't it? I love Willy. A birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat in the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said, I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie likes my new bike too. That night I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, Past the playgrounds, I pushed my bike along. Going down the hill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more, and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey Tig, pushing a bike is okay, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Whee! Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 whee! Hey, Tig! Sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. 
So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... Pedal... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. The dog. When I was little, my granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Willie came too. In the park, on the way to Granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. She said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. It's Herbie. He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Oh, 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 oh. Stink! Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. Herbie barked. Woof, 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 woof. Herbie looked scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. Ruff. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. Ruff. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking, ruff, is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. Don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way, you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. 
Now, do you want to take him out? Take him to the park. We took Herbie to the park. Oh, I like getting to know Herbie. Oh, you got Herbie Yay! Here he goes. Oh, 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 oh. Come and give us the dog. Come and give us it. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willy. Changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willy slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willie liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, can baby Ben borrow your cot? Okay, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bed. He took off one end. He took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot bits. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hey, Tig. Change is scary, but you know what? Changes are fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. There. Hey, I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey. And you'll make baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. And I can have fun changing my room around. <laughs> Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? Yes. Anyone see my toolbox? Oh! Daddy found Willy in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox! It's my toy spider! Who is it? Oh, it's only Willy. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willy. The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Willie came too. Tig, why don't you come and have a look at your dress? 
It was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes, Auntie it Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put on my dress. Oh, Dick, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. My Auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr Tonka and the Giggly Lady and Granny and Mummy had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend Clive pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, she was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my Granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer Granny up. Granny liked my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. <laughs> Mummy said we have to get more petals. I didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone else's fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Hey Tig, it's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying. She was happy crying. Ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willy, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I like to make everyone happy. I love Willy. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came too. We sat on a chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye, bye. Thank you. Daddy said, thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are too. I said, thank you, and bye-bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, 
Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long, I ran in front of him. Take, said Daddy. Wait your turn. Uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Take, said Daddy. Don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tank, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it, it was us. We're, we're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy, the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig. I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my daddy. I said sorry to daddy. Sorry, dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Oh, Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. It's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. Hey, Tig. <laughs> I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee. We play hide and we play run. We have funny, funny.